Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about absolute values in GMAT. After going through this course, you will be very familiar with the fundamentals of absolute value. You would be armed with some of the tools that you can use to solve absolute value questions and some systematic methods to solve some of the more tougher problems which includes different kinds of ranges in absolute value and we will start with just an understanding of basic absolute values what are what is the meaning of absolute value and go on to little bit of more mathematical definition of absolute values operations on what you can and cannot do with absolute values then move on to some of the advanced topics like how do you open up the modulus with confidence and applying of distance formula both of these techniques can be really really helpful in trying to solve some of the more difficult questions within GMAT. We'll have some practice questions here and I have uploaded more practice questions especially solutions from official guide onto my YouTube channel so you can watch them as you need. Additional resources are given Given in the description so let's get started if you like this video please press like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it helps me very much in working with YouTube and in getting credit for the work I am doing so that I can keep rebuilding free videos for you all right so let's get started understanding the basic meaning of absolute value absolute value represents distance so if you were to say how far the x is from 2 you would measure and say this far right whatever this value is however x could be on the other direction of 2 in real life if you were traveling from 2 to x in this direction and 2 to x in this direction you will burn the same amount of fuel if you were traveling in a car that is because the distance is never negative. So yes, this looks like it is negative and you're going in an opposite direction. But remember, when you burn fuel, you would burn always the fuel in positive because you will always travel positive distance, even if you are traveling in a negative direction, for example. Similarly, take a look at this equation. Here we are looking at minus 2 on the number line and the distance between x and 2 and x and minus 2 is same. No matter which side of minus 2 x is on. So that is the fundamental understanding of absolute value. It represents distance which is never negative. Now I'm not saying it is always positive. There is a difference between never negative and always positive and the difference is zero right distance can be zero because point x could be on top of point two in which case the distance is zero so the first step of understanding absolute value is that absolute value is distance the second thing to understand is distance is never negative so the absolute value when you open it up it can never be negative it has to be a positive quantity and here it is distance can never be negative so from here let's talk about how would we represent this distance right so when 2 and x are this way where x is greater than 2 because x is greater than 2 then x minus 2 will be positive so the distance between x and 2 is x minus 2 when x is smaller than 2 then you would represent the distance as 2 minus x now as you can see it becomes difficult as I go on to kind of represent the distance between x and 2 because I would have to always represent when x is greater than 2 then this when x is less than 2 then this and while all I want to really say is that distance is always positive hence we came up with this modulus sign representing both of these ranges this is always positive so it doesn't matter whether x is on this side or that side of it when you open up the modulus, it will always be a positive quantity. It also brings us to a simple corollary that a distance between x and point 2 is just the difference between those two points enclosed in a modulus sign. I could also write it as 2 minus x modulus. It's absolutely the same thing. 2 minus x because the distance between x and 2 is same as 2 and x. 
So these two things are exactly the same because they are both representing positive quantity. The distance between x and a negative number is similarly x minus whatever that number is inside of the modulus sign which is equal to x plus 2 for example or in other words it could you could also write it as minus 2 minus x distance between the two points modulus you can take the negative sign outside of the bracket and since you are inside a modulus sign the negative does not hold weight and you can just write it as x plus 2. So what we are saying is x plus 2 is same as modulus of minus 2 minus x because the distance between x and minus 2 is same as distance between minus 2 and x. I hope this is clear. If it is not, that is absolutely fine. Just think through it, take a pause here, think through it, come to the same conclusions and keep going. All right. We just talked about this. So distance of a point A from X would be either X minus A, which is typically how you would represent it, or it could also be A minus X. Both are same. Distance between a point minus A and X would be X minus minus A, which is equal to x plus a and as we saw we could also write it as minus a minus x if the x was on the other side of minus a which will also be equal to x plus a because the negative sign can be removed. So just to emphasize the concept a little bit what is the distance of x from minus 9? So we know the distance from x from any point is x minus that point inside the modulus sign. So it will be written as x plus 9. Same thing, x minus 0 0.5, that equals x minus 0.5. As we also talked about, I could easily write that as 0.5 minus x. So whether you write x minus 0.5 inside modulus or 0.5 minus x inside modulus, it's the same thing. Modulus of 7.3 plus x represents the distance from which point. So you can write 7.3 plus x as x plus 7.3, which equals x minus minus 7.3. It basically says the distance between x and negative 7.3 is this quantity. So it represents distance of x from minus 7.3. Okay, hopefully this much is clear. If it is not, that is absolutely fine. Just pause the video and try to solve it for yourself. And I recommend not moving ahead until you have this clear in your head, at least to some extent, so that you can follow the oncoming concepts. From whatever we have learned so far, right, let's recheck. Absolute value of x is greater than zero. True or false? This is false. And the reason is, as I said, distance cannot be negative that doesn't mean it will be positive because there is zero the actual true statement is modulus of x is greater than or equal to zero this equal to sign is extremely important and gmat or any other test can always test you on this particular concept and you may end up making a mistake so let's move on to the mathematical definition as i said modulus of x or absolute value of x is always greater than or equal to zero. Since the quantity is always positive, it doesn't matter whether you have negative sign inside or not. So modulus of minus x, as we said, the negative quantity inside of the absolute value can be removed, same as mod of x. From that, we can say that modulus of minus 2 is equal to modulus of 2. What does modulus of minus 2 really mean, right? So think about it. This is 0. This is minus 2. Modulus of minus 2 means the distance between 0 and 2, right? 0 minus 2 is the distance between 0 to 0 and 2. Modulus of that would be modulus of minus 2 and it will, it will be 2, which is same as the modulus of 2. So again, this negative sign doesn't really matter when you're talking about absolute values because it represents the distance and the distance between 0 and minus 2 will be same as the distance between 0 and 2 
and hence modulus of minus 2 equals modulus of 2. If x is greater than 5, how can you open up x minus 5? So x is greater than 5. Let's just take a quick example. X, let's say x is 6. So 6 minus 5 is 1, positive 1. So when x is greater than 5, the quantity x minus 5 is already positive. I don't even need a modulus sign. So I can just open it up as is because I don't need a modulus sign. I am already representing x, which is greater than 5, which means this quantity is positive. So what's the point of adding a modulus sign in complexity? If x were greater than 9, then 9 minus x modulus of, how would you open that up? So let's take an example, right? Let's take x equal to 10. 9 minus 10 would be minus 1, which is negative. So to make this negative positive, I would have to add a minus sign in front of it, or in other words, flip the number to make it positive. So when you open up 9 minus x, we know this quantity will be negative. To make it positive, we will add a negative sign in front of it and write it as is to say that since 9 minus x is negative, we know that minus of 9 minus x will be positive. And so when we open up the modulus sign or the absolute value, we have to write it this way, negative of 9 minus x to make it positive now. Now you can take another example if uh, you're not still sure. So let's take x equal to 12. So minus of 9 minus 12 is minus of minus 3 that is equal to plus 3. Modulus should be positive and as you can see because of this negative sign it comes out to be positive when x is greater than 9. Okay. Again it is it is perfectly fine if you want to go back and look at these and try to solve it from yourself. Take a pause here and do it. It will only help as we move forward. Now the question that comes up from this is modulus of x minus 9 equals modulus of 9 minus x and the answer is yes we already did that previously but let's take it from in this example how would you open up x minus 9 since x is greater than 9 you would open up x minus 9 if x were 10 then x minus 9 would be 10 minus 9 1 so this would be just x minus 9 you will open it up as x minus 9 right? How would you open up 9 minus x? 9 minus x would be negative, so you would open it up with a negative sign, 9 minus x, and you would say, okay, let's take the negative inside, you would have minus 9 plus x, which is same as x minus 9. So as you can see, both of these quantities open up to be the same quantities when x is greater than 9. Hence, Modulus of x minus 9 is same as modulus of 9 minus x. If x were less than 0, is x divided by mod x equal to 1? True or false? Let's take an example, right? So if my x was minus 3, modulus of x would be 3, right? Which is actually negative of x because negative of minus 3 is 3. So basically what I'm saying is when x is negative, modulus of x is negative x. So you can replace the modulus x here, x divided by minus x, and that would be minus 1, not 1. So this one is false, okay? I hope this is clear. When x is less than 0, mod x equals x squared divided by x. Is this true? So again, mod x is going to be minus x, right? And x squared divided by x, no matter how you do it, you will get as x, not minus x. So modulus of x is minus x, but this, this is a positive quantity because modulus or absolute value is a positive quantity x is given to be less than 0. So this is a negative quantity. A positive quantity cannot be equal to a negative quantity. Hence, this is also false. So now let's look at some of the operations that are allowed inside the modulus sign and what you can do when you are given a modulus sign expression. So or let's start with the basic one. 
you are given modulus of 2x equal to 6. Can you say something about modulus x is the question. The first step is you can take this 2 out of the modulus sign and you can rewrite this equation as this. Then you can divide both sides by 2 and you can say that I am given that the modulus of x is 3. The question is, is it allowed? The answer is yes, when the quantity you are moving around, especially moving in or out of the modulus sign is a positive quantity. Then you can follow the rules of equations, which is just multiplying both sides, dividing both sides. That is all absolutely fine. If they were negative, which is the case over here, then it's not allowed. And I will tell you why, right? So we know that the mod x, mod of minus x is equal to 3. And as we know that absolute value has to be always non-negative. And in this case, it will be positive since 3 is positive. If I were to take this negative sign out and write it as minus x and multiply both sides by one, minus 1, then I get mod of x is minus 3. This is never possible. And what I'm doing, the fundamental mistake I am making is taking out this minus sign, this negative sign from inside the modulus outside. That is not allowed. And the reason is that the negative sign actually has no visibility inside of the modulus. And we did this in the previous concept. Modulus of negative x is equal to x. You can just remove the negative sign from inside the modulus because it doesn't lend any credence. In the end, whatever value of x it is, a modulus of x will always be non-negative. Uh, and in this case, since it's 3, it will be positive. In other words, the absolute value or the modulus sign kind of eats away the negative. So you cannot really take it out. It doesn't really have its own presence. So taking it out would lead to incorrect answers. Let's look at this example really quickly. As 2 is positive, I can very easily rewrite this as half x equals 3, which means mod x equals 6. I'm taking a positive quantity out, and that is absolutely allowed. You can definitely do it. Whether it is in multiplication or in division, it doesn't matter. So here is the final outcome of what we learned. Do not multiply or take out negative quantities without opening the modulus first. And when you open the modulus, you would realize that the negative quantities inside them have no real value or no real presence. So don't take them out of the modulus sign. Okay, hope this is clear. If it is not, just take, take a pause here, go through it again. You can rewind the video and understand it properly. Okay, now we are moving on to a slightly more difficult concept and we will try to solve this problem in two ways. One is the one is the ranges method of solving these kind of problems and the other one is the distance. So before we go there, let's understand the basics a little bit first. 